Sassy Zebra here today, and today I am going to go over some products here that I really enjoy that I found in November and that I use every day that for my pots and also kind of that help um, people for food allergies. Um, so I thought I'd also that f is really good for gastroparesis and um, that work really well for some of my swallowing issues as well. So I thought I'd kind of go over some of these products with you today and in hopes that maybe it'll give you guys some ideas um, that might help you as well. So um, the first uh, product I like to talk about is uh, teas. So um, this brand I found initially on the web. Um, you can get these on Amazon. Um, if you are sensitive to caffeine, uh, I would not try these because they are highly caffeinated. In fact, it says um, they have more caffeine than a cup of coffee. But um, I have really bad fatigue, super bad fatigue, um, and I hate coffee. I hate the flavor of coffee, but I needed something to help me get out of bed. Um, so I used to take um, uh, a, a medication for uh, my ADHD, and I no longer do so. So... Um, but I also needed something for my fatigue, so I thought um, I would try this out. And um, I really do enjoy this flavor of tea. Um, this one is a cinnamon apple. And this brand is called Zest Tea. And it, um, it says premium energy tea. And on the back it says the rush without the grind and um, the zest uh, black tea it has a hundred and fifty five milligrams and it says coffee has a uh, hundred and twenty five milligrams and regular black tea says it has fifty milligrams so it has quite a bit more uh, than coffee and it has three times the levels of traditional tea um, and it does have some amino acids which um, is really nice for energy and alertness um, and it also uh, says it uh, doesn't give you the jitters like coffee does which I do notice that and I another thing I do notice um, because I used to drink coffee uh, a long time ago. I used to have to put a lot of um, sugar in it. I wouldn't put cream. I would put uh, coconut milk in it because I am allergic to dairy. Uh, but, um, and I actually wouldn't put uh, sugar in it. I would put stevia because I am diabetic. Um, but I wouldn't get the, um, I wouldn't get the up and down. Um, so that's the one nice thing about uh, this tea. You don't have the crash uh, like you do with normal coffee. So it's, it's a more sustained uh, level of energy, which I really like. And I really like this flavor. It's a really nice apple cinnamon fall flavor. So um, if you're looking for that, it has uh, really nice bits of uh, apple and uh, cinnamon in these little... I'll actually open um, this. It actually comes in a plastic bag. I took the bags out, but they have really nice little mesh tea bags. Really nice quality. And this uh, canister. Hold on one second. I dropped my tea lid. Um, this canister gives you, um, let's see, 15 tea bags and I I got this at my local Winco and I believe I got this one for about 
seven dollars um amazon i think is a lot more expensive than that so um I would shop around personally. I think Amazon is about $12 for 20 tea bags, which personally I would pay that. Uh, it's, it's really good tea. I absolutely love it. And then this flavor is the same brand, uh, zest tea as well. Also says high octane tea. Um, this is also 155 milligrams of, uh, caffeine in it. And this one is orange pico black tea, um, hibiscus, uh, natural passion fruit, fruit flavor, orange peel, cornflower petals, uh, natural orange flavor, and lemon. So that's what this one looks like. And uh, I will show you what this one tea bags look like this one doesn't have quite the amount of um, big chunks in it but there's still a few sometimes I really like this one over the um, the apple cinnamon this one has a, a more soothing um, flavor so if my stomach's upset but I still want the high energy pick me up I tend to go for uh, the blue lady as opposed to the apple cinnamon so uh, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is um, the complete cookies um, the reason why I included these um, is a couple of reasons so they are um, there is no dairy and no eggs but there is wheat flour in it so um, I am allergic to wheat but um, my mom wanted me to include these for you because there is still a lot of people out there that can have wheat and, um, but is still highly allergic to dairy and, and eggs. Um, but she said the, the, uh, these ones were her favorite, the oatmeal raisin and the lemon ones. And, uh, the protein level is really high. There are 16 grams in, um, in each cookie, and they're really big cookies. And there's 10 grams of fiber in each cookie. There is no GMO, no soy, no dairy, no egg. They're vegan. They're kosher. Um, they are really soft. I felt them. And that's really nice um, they are pretty low in sugar as well so that's really nice they're 180 uh, no let me see that's a half a cookie so they're less than 400 um, calories per whole cookie and 12 grams of fat um, per cookie basically and I think it varies on calorie count um, and fat count uh, what kind of cookie you get because this one is 14 grams of fat uh, per cookie and 400 calories per cookie so it just depends upon which one you get um, this one would be 360 calories per cookie so uh, the lemon one is slightly more fatty than the meal raisin but my mom said these are both really amazing. Um, so if you can have wheat um, and gluten, um, try these out. But uh, they are dairy-free, they are egg-free, and they are very soft, and they make a great snack. But these do have gluten and wheat. The next thing I wanted to talk about are these fruit and grain snacks um these are really amazing for people that have gastroparesis or trouble swallowing um these make a really good just snack to have around um sometimes 
I just really can't swallow food or just can't keep anything down. Um, these things are amazing. And they're also really great to travel with as well. So there's these little pouches and they have fruit and they also have um, oats in it. There's absolutely um, no gluten in here. It's gluten-free <clears throat> and it says Allen on the package too. It will say gluten-free on it. And there's no dairy in it. There is no eggs, nothing whatsoever. Um, and there is no added sugar in here. Um, the ingredients are just uh, apples, water, apple juice concentrate, oats, natural flavor, ascorbic acid, vitamin C, and cinnamon. So um, it's pretty pure. Uh, and it's only 60 calories. Um, it has 125 milligrams of potassium, which is really nice. And um, 15 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fiber, and 12 grams of sugar. And you get 100% um, of vitamin C, which is pretty nice too. But what I like about it is a lot of times I have trouble keeping things down. Um, and a lot of times I have trouble swallowing, especially right now. And so sometimes this, is, this sort of stuff is the only thing I can get down. Um, apple cobbler is really good, but um, my favorite is the peach cobbler. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, that one's my favorite. Really good. Really tasty. It really does taste like peach cobbler. And then the next thing I really enjoyed. Um, oh, and you can find these really anywhere. I think I found these ones at uh, Safeway. And, and or Fred Meyers. If you have a Fred Meyers around you, uh, you can pick these up too. Next thing, um, these Annie's uh, little uh, cookie crackers. Uh, these come in cocoa and vanilla, and I believe they also come in snickerdoodle. These are uh, gluten-free. Really good. And um, they also do not have uh, any eggs or milk ingredients as well. These are um, pretty small. They're really easy uh, to chew up and swallow as well. They almost kind of dissolve right in your mouth, um, which is nice. Or you can kind of put them in um, like a glass of coconut milk, <laughs> dissolve it that way. Um, but they have a really nice flavor. I really enjoy these. Um, great to travel with, great snack. Um, I really, really like them. I love finding new gluten-free snacks. Um, so, uh, especially on my uh, really bad gastroparesis days where I just don't feel like eating anything. Sometimes it's the sugary, carby things that I can keep down. And I go for things like this or things like this. Um... The last thing I want to put down is protein, because that's usually a thing that comes back up. So, unfortunately, it's a sad thing. Um, the next thing I have um, are these um, pressed by kind um, pineapple, banana, kale, and spinach bars. There's a lot of different types of bars. This is the only one I have with me. Um, it's not my very favorite flavor, it's the, but it's the one I have left, of course, because it's not my very favorite flavor, but, um, they are good. Uh, but these, uh, pressed by kind bars, they're really good. Um, and they're pretty easy to chew and, um, there's no gluten, no dairy. And I really like these, um, And they have some really good stats on the back. They have um, two full servings of fruit and a decent serving of fiber, too. There's only 110 calories per the bar. And 
they have 45 milligrams of sodium, um, 85 milligrams of potassium, um, 2.5 grams of fiber, and 18 grams of sugar, and 1 gram of protein. Um, so that's really nice. Um, and all it is is pineapple, bananas, apple, kale, and spinach. Um, and the reason why I still have this one around is um, I'm allergic to kale. So this is actually my mom's bar. I don't eat this kind. Um, but there's like a mango one that um, I really like. Um, and there's, there's a few other ones that I really enjoy that I can have. So... Um, but, uh, any of the press by kind bars, they're really natural and I really enjoy these. The next one I'm going to talk about, it's really good for, um, uh, the postural orthostatic tachycardia people out there, um, to get your salt in. It's the pickle ice flavored freeze pops. Um, the cheapest way to buy these is I found on Amazon. You can get like a box of 48 of these for, I think it's only like 18 bucks. Um, otherwise you're paying almost, um, sometimes almost $2 a pop. So, uh, you can also make your own pops too. If you want to buy big jars of pickles and just freeze the pickle juice. Um, but personally, um, with me being chronically ill and not having a lot of time, um, I just buy these. And also, uh, these, uh, pickle ice pops, they also have a added, uh, electrolytes in them. So, um, I really like these. Um, so there's no sugar, no calories. Um, they're fat free. They have 300 milligrams of sodium in each, each one of these. Um, uh, 20 milligrams of calcium, eight, uh, milligrams of magnesium, 70 milligrams of potassium. And all it is is water, vinegar, salt, um, calcium. There's some other things in it, but th there's no gluten. There's no dairy. There's, um, there's nothing bad in there. So, um, there's, if anybody's allergic to garlic, there's no garlic in here either. Um, that's, that's the one thing that I usually have to look out for when buying pickles is I am allergic to garlic, so I can't have a lot of pickles, but there is no garlic in this one, which is nice. So I'll show this again and I'll show the back. So that is everything I recommend. Um, I will try to do one of these once a month. Um, my favorites videos and yeah so that is one sassy zebra if you have any questions please ask and comment like share subscribe and and I will be on to my next video bye